Uh, good afternoon, my friends. I'm going to do a little Greenlight Ford special. Um, I, I like Greenlight. I love Ford. And I have a couple of cool models here. One that I've shown before. Um, this beautiful gift from David Johns of Twice Diecast. This is the Ford T5 or Ford Mustang II from 19... 76 um, and very briefly uh, Ford came out with the Mustang in 1964 April 17th of 1964 as a 1964 and a half model but when they started selling the cars in Europe they could not sell it in Germany as a Mustang because there was another vehicle already had that was it a vehicle or another product had that copyright. So Ford sold the Mustang as the T5 in Germany. Um, and this is a very cool model. We'll be taking this out. I've taken it out before. This beautiful 1967 Ford Mustang Ski Country Special, which was also sold as a High Country Special uh, from Greenlight. And this is a hobby exclusive. And this is a very cool gift from Dicastrum. So we're going to open those and go full boat green light Ford with this absolutely awesome green light racing hitch and tow series. This is the 1992 Ford F-150 and the 1992 Ford Bronco on flatbed trailer, both in the BF Goodrich livery. Uh, so that'll be the last thing we open. We're going to start with the 67 Mustang. So this is very cool. Um, as I said, this is a hobby exclusive. I believe this is a brand new 2020 or 2021. 2020. So this is this is a a, a very recent release. Very cool. Ski Country Fords, now specially equipped. The ski, ski Country Mustangs, now at your Ford dealers. Uh, oh, Galaxy Mustang and Fairlane Hardtops, Mustang Fastback and Ford Country Sedan, five special colors, specially equipped with ski racks, snow tires, uh, Equalock rear axles, which is a posi. Uh, Coffee bar and medallions. Coffee bar. Hmm. Don't know what. Co Let me see. Coffee bar. Don't know what that means. Coffee bar. But it's got a luggage rack with ski rack. So let's take this off very carefully. So I've always had a preference with Mustangs for for uh, notchbacks um, when I was young, but then and that's what I owned. Um, and it's it's funny because I actually usually prefer hatchbacks. So this is very cool, metal body, metal base. Sixty-seven Ford Mustang Ski Country. Uh, it's got a 2007 copyright because I'm sure that Greenlight is making the 67 Ford that long. It's got a GL025 as the Greenlight casting number. They've done a nice job with these rally wheels, these factory rally wheels. And the white wall tires and everything looks okay here. Uh, they've got painted headlights. They've got the fog light's blacked out here. I do not know why. Um, were they trying to insinuate that this model wasn't sold with fog lights? Mm. Uh, nice hood opens, of course. And unfortunately, the body color and the engine color are very close to what Ford would use. So it makes it tough to see anything in there. Nice tamper work on the badging there. The chrome around the drip rail and the windows. 
the quarter windows. The side windows are all down. The interior is all just black plastic, but it looks fairly well molded. Windshield wipers, some very nice details. Uh, Tampo printed tail lights. You've got your backup lights here. You've got your exhaust tips as part of the metal base. You've got an, a license plate there, FM 1967. Or is it FN? Yeah, FM or FN. So, nice luggage rack here. And you can see that the skis go in sideways. And I've never been skiing in my life. So I don't know if skis are... I mean, we actually have skis in our house. They're old family heirlooms. So, uh, yeah. That is a sweet model. And so this is the Ski Country Special, which was also sold as the High Country Special in uh, mostly Western states, uh, like Colorado and Utah, uh, near the Rockies. So that is very cool. And then real quick, we're going to take a look at this, the Ford T5. As you can see, das ist der Ford T5. Die Volkomens, no, die Volkomen. Oh, can't pronounce that. Von Elegance und Sport League. So I think this means uh, with elegance and sport sportiness. Yeah, no, I've never taken Spanish. I uh, just watched a lot of cable TV. Uh, not Spanish, German. Duh. I have taken Spanish, and I still can't speak that. So, uh, so for my European friends, was my pronunciation to your amusement. I can already see uh, Joran and Aurel laughing at the screen like, Geez, Joe, did you really do that? Did you really embarrass yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, so this is very cool. Uh, here we go. The name Mustang had been copyrighted by German manufacturer of large general purpose trucks in the early 50s. So uh, this is very cool. And uh, David, David saw this in his store and he's like, well, oh, that's for Joe. And yeah, that's just the thing. Uh, so many cool people. I mean, yeah, yeah. Chris uh, from CRA Diecast just sent me a couple of really nice Mustangs from Majorette. You know, uh, Rick has sent me some stuff. That's just, uh, that's one of the very cool things about this community is that people uh, tend to really care and they get an idea like, oh, wow, you know, they think of, I think this person would like that. I think this person would like that. So the hood opens on this. Now, the Mustang 2 is off maligned unfairly. Um, I will say it again. Um, here is an eye-opening number for the naysayers. The Mustang 2 came out in 1974. And in 1974, it enjoyed its highest sales numbers of the Mustang II era. Um, the 1974 Mustang II sold 385,000 units. Let's put this in perspective. The highest sales year ever for the Ford Mustang was 1966 with 607,000 units sold in 1966. In 1965, 559,000. This beautiful 1967, they made 472,000. The best selling year for the Chevy Camaro, period, is 1979 with 282,000 units. So the Camaro never sold in the numbers that the Mustang 2 did. And for those that knock the Mustang 2 for being based on a Pinto chassis, um, it's time to check your history, kids. 
The original 1965, 64 and a half Mustang was built off the Ford Falcon. The original 1967 Chevy Camaro and the Pontiac Firebird were built on the Chevy 2 or Chevy Nova platform. The original Plymouth Barracuda was built on a um, Plymouth Valiant chassis. And later, the Dodge Challenger, a variation of that. So all of the pony cars were built off of smaller chassis. And <clears throat> the Mustang II saved the Mustang. Unlike the Camaro, which had a decade gap in sales, almost, actually, I think it's eight years, uh, 2002 to 2011, so nine years, they didn't make a Camaro. Um, in fact, the Mustang is one of the few nameplates that can say, I have run for 57 years without an interruption in production. Even the esteemed Corvette does, did not actually have any production for the 1983 model year. There are 1982 Corvettes and 1984 Corvettes. There are actually no 1983 Corvettes. And there are no 2003 through 2010 Camaros. And there hasn't been a Plymouth Barracuda since 1974. And there will never be another Pontiac Firebird. They ended production in 2002, I believe. And the brand itself is gone. So, heap as much abuse as you want on the Mustang 2. The Mustang 2 was an unabashed, unashamed success. The numbers do not lie. More Mustang 2s were sold than your favorite pony car. More Mustangs have been sold than any other pony car. Total production of the Chevrolet Camaro from 1967 to 2020 is five and a half million vehicles. That is impressive. Total production of Ford Mustangs from 1964 to 2021 is over 10 million vehicles. So, yeah, Mustang 2 is pretty cool. And considering that 1974, there was no V8 in a Mustang. The largest engine in 1974 was the 2.8 liter V6, the Cologne V6, which was borrowed from the Ford Capri and Ford console. And so, uh, yeah, say it loud, say it proud. Ford Mustang too. Very cool, very great, great cars. Undeniably so. And another area where Ford excels is trucks. Now, I didn't bother doing the production numbers research for Ford trucks, uh, that's pretty easy to look up for yourselves, but uh, suffice to say that Ford F-Series trucks have been the best-selling vehicle in the world since 1977, I believe. Um, so there have been years where there have been sold 900,000 plus, almost a million F-Series vehicles. So this beautiful hitch and toe set from Greenlight, racing hitch and toe, and some of the other sets in this, 1992 Ford, Ford Bronco, 2019 Ford F-350, and 2021 Ford Mustang Mach 1 with enclosed car trailer. I don't have that one. Maybe someday. Uh, Chevy Serato. And Chevy Corvette Stingray with enclosed car hauler. Um, I think I have that one. That, yes, of course I have that one. That is the Gulf Livery one. And that is one of my favorite sets. But 
these are two very cool. So this is like a, a tow truck and a, you know, a tow vehicle with the trailer and then the uh, Baja Pre-Runner Racer in my mind. So let's see what these look like out of the package. So, a trailer is a trailer. We have Goodrich. Very nice. And so this is actually the fourth of this Bronco in my collection. Um, and my second, I believe, of, or very similar, I have uh, the SVT Lightning casting from Green Light. So let's take a look at the F-150 at first here. Um, so this is very nice. Look at this. So inserted headlights uh, with the orange turn signals painted. Uh, very nice grill. The, the Ford emblem is just too small to read on that, which is a sort of a shame. Uh, the hood does not open on this one. They've done a nice job. PPG paint. Uh, P-I-A-A, -A, the uh, off-road lights. Uh, B.F. Goodrich, uh, what does that say? Hold on, Black, uh, Black Diamond? Black Diamond, which must be a series of off-road tires. What is that? Power Train Engineering. Uh, Ford Trucks. National Spring Company, Alcoa, uh, that's the American Aluminum Corporation, uh, Rough Riders, Ford. So Rough Riders are shocks, BF Goodrich Radial, All Terrain, TA. These wheels are done nicely. I remember these being offered through the dealership on these Ford trucks and Broncos back in the day. Um, sliding rear window, really could use a little bit of black accent paint on that. Tailgate's done nicely. Uh, again, a very, very prominent off-road lighting promotion there. There goes Ford. Can't read that. Oh, that says Rough Riders. There's the tow hitch. So that's very cool. Uh, so, the dots here are probably because this can be used for a Kings of Crunch lifted version. Uh, love this BF Goodrich livery. Although I am honestly these days uh, a Michelin man. But BF Goodrich were very cool, very popular. The comp I had BF Goodrich comp TAs on my Chevy S10 SS. Uh, they were great tires. All right, so let's take a quick look at this. This would be the racing part of the team here. This is very nice. So Fairview Ford, uh, that must be the dealership that supplied the, I don't know. Uh, powertrain Engineering, BF Goodrich, all, looks like it's all the same sponsor decals. Gonna take this top off here for a second. Um, Ford Powertrain Engineering, BF Goodrich, Comp TA. There goes, for two lights, they got a lot of promotion. So you can see the lensed headlights here, but there's a, there's like, looks like a, they, they did a run, running change. There's a little white paint behind there, unlike the pickup truck. So that's very cool. The uh, custom front bull guard bumper. A pre-runner bumper with tow hooks here, winch, the uh, brush guard with the light supports, uh, the same wheels and tires, 
The removable roof lets you see the interior, which is actually pretty good. I mean, there's no detail painting, but that is very sweet. And as I said, I have uh, a few green light uh, Ford trucks. I can actually lay my hands on one of the other Broncos right here, so I'll get that out real quick. But I can't, I can't uh, find the, well, I can find, but I'm not going to take the time to find the uh, lightning pickup. So I have this beautiful orange Bronco from the all-terrain uh, series. So yeah, here they have silver behind the lens headlights. So I wonder if that's an improvement they'll make on the uh, F-Series pickups moving forward. This looks like it has the same off-road bar in front, just painted black. And of course, this one is a green machine. And if it wasn't, it would have the same wheels as this. So, sorry to beat up on all you non-Ford guys, but uh, the fact is that Ford is a successful car manufacturers, one of the most successful, and when they say they've got a better idea, they mean it. Um, Look out auto industry. Ford's coming out with the first fully electric truck. They're coming out with one of the lowest priced hybrids in the U.S. market next year, which is going to be the Ford Maverick two-wheel drive pickup. Um, Ford has one of the best full electric vehicles, the Ford Mach-E. Um, yeah. There's a reason Ford does so well. So, uh, Wow, that's 22 minutes. So there we go. Some really cool uh, green light Ford Mustangs and trucks. Um, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Um, and if you're going to come at me with, uh, oh, but a Hemi, uh, you're young and idealistic or you're old and nostalgic, uh, Hemi's were not a practical street engine. Mopar, Mopar, real Mopar drivers from my generation realized that there were, the 440 was better, the 383, the 346 pack. These were more drivable cars. If you're talking drag ship, yeah, sure, Hemi. Um, but who could afford it? You know, uh, as far as street racing, there were no Hemis out on the road street racing when I was. Um, not not just stop not not kids that's all uh that's all good you know uh, nostalgia but it's not factual you know um big blocks in general who could afford the gas you know so anyway uh thanks for watching have a great day